Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on the seventh day. Ooh, very creepy movie about exorcists. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books, Woke a Stand Novel, uh, Holly Woke, another novel, and of course The Pineys, all available on Amazon, ebook, trade paperback, Kindle Unlimited is free. Now, uh, also, there's a bit shoot uh, Rumble exclusive if you want to see one of my uh, political videos, and uh, that's all about the election in that Time magazine article. Now, Seventh Day, very scary looking movie, quite frankly. I always found The Exorcist a uh, scary movie. Keith David uh, is in the movie. Uh, you might remember him. Uh, he voiced the president in Rick and Morty. He was uh, the voice of Lana's father. In uh, Archer, he did uh, the voiceover in Fallout. Uh, you, you, you'd know him. He, he's in a lot of stuff. Uh, and Guy Pierce is in this movie, too. And the funny thing is, it's from Mad Men. He, Guy Pierce plays... The, <laughs> he plays, like, the veteran exorcist. Like, the badass priest. <laughs> Who knows it all? And uh, uh, the main character is this younger priest... Who he's training uh, in, uh, you know, fighting evil, and uh, it's funny. He takes him to like a homeless encampment and uh, makes him confront, I don't know, some crazy homeless guy who might be possessed or whatever. And then, uh, oh, the, you know, it's, a, it's a, the whole possession thing is very scary. So then, uh, sends him into a prison uh, to confront this kid who's possessed because. Uh, uh, he killed like his family and uh, makes the, the, the pencil levitate and yeah you can imagine what happens next um, and uh, it gets very bloody very bloody it looks like a very scary movie I'm not sure if Guy Pierce is really the main character I guess he's not the main character but this guy seems to be in a lot of the trailer so I, I'm assuming that Guy Pierce kind of is in it but not in the whole thing. He's he's the box office draw here. Uh, but he's a pretty good actor, and he, and he seems to be in most of it, at least. Um, and if you've ever seen The Exorcist, The Exorcist is one of the scariest movies you'll ever see. I mean, it's I think it still holds up as a scary movie. It's just messed up. Now, it's a little slow-paced, you know, because it was made, uh, I would say, the 70s, early 80s at the latest. Um, but, uh, and, and it may not resonate with people who are not religious at all, but, uh, I don't know. I find these movies kind of scary. Uh, it's called the seventh day. Uh, there's a big jump here. Uh, let's see. Written and directed by Justin P. Lang. Don't know him. Guy Pierce. Uh, Keith David. I, oh, there he is with Keith David. So he, he's probably... He's probably like one of the priests who get murdered early in the movie. <laughs> uh, and Stephen Lang, which uh, I'm going to guess is the brother of Justin P. Lang. I'm just guessing that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it looks scary. Eh, you know. I, I would say it. I would say it. And it doesn't look... You know, there have been a few exorcism movies. They're a little... I don't know. They look. They don't look good. I like the the sort of grittiness in this. That Guy Pierce is sort of the veteran exorcism and exorcist, and he's like, I've seen some things, man. Because <laughs> that to me makes more sense than some of the more dramatic kind of stuff I've seen before in this very narrow subgenre. Um, I think the first act in a movie like this would probably be either Guy Pierce uh, years ago and an exorcism that goes wrong or uh, there's the the priest the young priest encounters a uh, 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 some sort of strange possessed person and manages to do some good or manages to save somebody or or maybe, keep the situation contained and so the church recruits him to be an exorcist because he has some natural talent and then they bring him in and he is uh 
partnered <laughs> like a buddy movie with Guy Pierce. And then the second act is him sort of training him, you know, getting toughing him up a little bit. And then they, got, you know, he takes him to the prison where this kid, he meets the kid who's maybe murdered his family and the kid is possessed. And, you know, he goes back to Guy Pierce, like, what am I going to do? And Guy Pierce is like, I don't know. I got my hands full with my own exorcisms, but I'll try to help you. And then, uh, Eventually, in the third act, they together try to, you know, uh, exercise the demon, and it's very powerful. And maybe Guy Pierce sacrifices himself, or maybe he redeems himself. I don't, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to read from this cut of the movie, but it does look scary. It does look a bit creepy. I, I kind of like the way it's going. I don't know. Um, and I'm a big fan of The Exorcist. I mean, The Exorcist is just. Oh, man, it's messed up. In the end of the movie, phew. Uh, so check it out. It's called The Seventh Day.